lot of people don't be knowing what you be going through behind closed doors. Everybody can put on this little facade. Everybody can try to pretend and act like, you know, we're all supposed to be happy-go-lucky 24-7. Everybody can try to put on this front that, okay, we're A-OK -okay 24-7. We don't be going through nothing. We don't be dealing with nothing. We don't be battling through nothing. We just be pretending everything's everything's all good in the world. Everything's all rainbows, sunshines, and daisies. And I'm telling you right now, that's not the case. What a lot of people that you see on the internet, on social media, all these famous people, they be pretending well like they like they got their shit together. But in reality, they are visible. They are stressing out. All these rappers that you be looking up to. They be stressed the fuck out based off what being a rapper for them entails for them to do. Everybody's losing themselves in this world, trying to be someone that they're not, pretending to be someone else, living this fake reality, right? Portraying themselves as, as a fraud, as a scammer. You got devils trying to portray themselves as angels. And these devils that are in your life, they are doing their best to portray themselves as an angel, as one of God's angels. Even God's chosen one. But let me get down to the main reason why I'm making this, vi this uh, video today. Because, you know, if y'all haven't really, if y'all haven't realized, y'all may not know, but I've been feeling pretty damn drained lately. Been feeling very drained these last couple of days. I haven't I haven't been getting a lot of sun as I would like to do I was as I would like to be getting you know haven't been getting a lot of vitamin D lately haven't been really meditating a whole lot you know what I mean I've been working out you know I've been praying staying prayed up always reading the Bible growing a connection with God himself but I'll, in my real life, I just been going through it. I just haven't felt like myself in recent days. You know, been under the weather a little bit. Allergies been kicking my ass. Been doing a lot of personal issues. You know, with my mother and uh, you know certain friends, quote unquote. You know, recently, just yesterday, had to, you know, disconnect somebody, had to cut somebody off. You know, and this was more of a family friend. You know, this was uh, more of a, you know, my friend. You know, my mother knew him pretty damn well. You know, we've been close for many, many years and stuff, but, you know, had to close off that friendship. Um, and, and something just took place to where it... um it really affected my mom and I've been you know she's been telling me a lot of what's going on with her and her health is starting to decline as I'm starting to see um, she's always stressed out all the time um, basically this you know this family friend was uh, playing with her emotions so to speak she knows how emotional she can be, and, she, and he decided to pretty much exploit her emotions. You know, got her out of element. Had her, it, had, it got to a point where she had to leave work and go deal with this situation with him, the friend, and all that stuff. And, you know, I wasn't around because I was working two jobs. You know, currently I'm working two jobs right now. Got my hands filled with that. Um, yeah, man, just, um, 
I don't want to go into complete detail. I don't want to go into whole detail what's been going on with me. I mean, I, I, I mean, overall, I'm just drained of what's been happening. There's a lot going on with my life. I'm facing a lot of persecution. You know, that tends to happen when you walk this righteous path. You walk the godly path and you're always going to be persecuted in some way, shape, or form. You're going to be outcasted. You're going to be targeted most of the time. Um, and I've just been under a lot of uh, spiritual attacks lately. A lot, a lot of spiritual attacks have been taking place. And, you know, this, this is coming in the shape of, in the form of, you know, fake friends, you know, fake family members, you know, toxic work environments, you know, just life in general, you know, I'm not the one to like always vent and y'all, y'all know this. I'm not always the one to be venting all the time and expressing myself in the best way because I don't, I don't really like talking a lot about my problems, you know, because really I'm just holding a, a phone to my face, talking to y'all, like I'm FaceTiming you and shit, but when I, when I be feeling a, attacked spiritually and I'm, go, I'm going through situations and I'm battling the world, I can't really talk about it with a lot of people, with anybody really. All I can do for the most part is sit in a room silently, not saying a word, and just let all my thoughts, feelings conjure up. Just let it sit there for a while. And maybe then I'll, I'll, I'll come up with some type of solution in my head to go about things better, how to move better, you know, and come back stronger. Because I always come back stronger from anything that I go through. So I, I realize me feeling drained right now is only a temporary pain. It's only a temporary, you know, it's a temporary thing that I'm dealing with. But I'm, I'm not going to sit up here and pretend like I'm not drained, that I'm not going through some stuff, but I am. That I'm not battling demonic principality on a daily because because when you're growing in the spirit and you're leveling up in your life there will be new devils to come and challenge you not just that bro but you will also have god expose the frauds in your life he will expose the fake friends in your life you be thinking that these friends that you had for a long time are your ride or die. They are your A1s. You think they are, are like family to you. But you see, when you start growing in the spirit, you start following God, and you start changing up your lifestyle, right? Whether it's self-improvement, self-help, right? Just improving your life overall. And, you, and you're starting, and you're seeing that your friends are still stuck in the same loop. They're still doing the same things from 10 years ago, five years ago. They're, new, they're doing nothing to grow their life. They're not doing anything to progress their life. They're stuck on level one while you're leveling up to level five and six and seven, eight and nine, 10. And watch those people show signs of jealousy Watch those people show signs of hatred. You have to understand one thing. The Lord, the Lord shall stand with the persecuted. The Lord shall bless the persecuted. The Lord shall also fix the broken. See, when you're, you're in time of struggle and you're feeling broken and you're being persecuted by the world, by society, because at the end of the day, you are not walking with society, you are walking with God. 
you are walking with Christ. And when you're walking in that spirit, just know you are going to attract demonic entities, demonic spirits that are going to that are going to try and, and keep you from God. They're going to keep you away from following the Most High. So the devil likes to attack the ones that are weak, the ones that are spiritually weak, the ones that have no faith. You know? They attack those individuals but as well as they attack the ones that are strong in faith, that know that their blessings are coming, that, that are leveling up. So the devil is going to come at you even harder and harder and harder because he sees that you are overcoming adversity. He sees that you're overcoming your bad habits, that you have overcome your self-destructive ways. I can tell you from when I was isolated, I was very self-destructive in every single way possible, right? The devil wanted to see me in that state. He wanted to, he knew I was going to be isolated. God had a plan to isolate me, but I wasn't, I wasn't receptive towards isolation at the time because I was still kind of young minded, right? Being 18, 19 years old. I didn't understand why I was so alone, why I was losing friends, why I was losing family members left and right, why I even barely had a family to begin with, why I felt like an outcast to other folks. I didn't understand it. So what did I do? I self-destructed my life. I got myself into porn addiction. I started occasionally drinking and smoking cigarettes. You know, when you start smoking cigarettes as a youngin', as a, young, as a young man, you know you are stressed out. When you start smoking cigarettes, you are stressed out. I don't care what you tell me. I don't care how much you smoke and how it makes you feel. When you start smoking cigarettes, you, my friend, are stressed out. And at that point in time, I was really stressed out. Like, y'all, I couldn't even show my face here on camera if I wanted to. I couldn't even make a YouTube video at that point in time because of how broken I felt, how helpless I felt. And these last couple of days, you know, was kind of reminiscent, was, was kind of remnants of how I felt back then, you know, five or six years ago. It almost kind of felt that way these last couple of days, you know, being drained, feeling the effects of spiritual warfare taking place but God God shall bless the persecuted and he will fix the broken but you got to take all your problems man one thing I'm learning is you got to take all your problems and you got to bring them to God show your broken heart to God give your broken heart to God let him fix it May he fix it and may he heal your broken heart. But may he bless the persecuted. Because walking a righteous path was never going to be easy, it was never going to be a cakewalk. Your enemies, well, the people in your life will start to show their true colors, and then they'll become your enemy. But they were, they were, they were always your enemy in disguise. You know, it was just going to come down to a point where you started to level up, and you started to receive God's blessings. Those people quickly moved around. You know, one thing I realize is. When God moves in your life, other people start to move around. They move in different directions away from you. Because you know what it is, man? If they can't stand to see you get blessed, that means they hate God. Because who do you think is blessing you? Who, who do you think is giving you the good fortunes? The Most High. Yahshua. 
the Lord, the Almighty Father. He is blessing you with the good fortunes because you have worked for it. You have sacrificed for it in a good way. You've changed up your, your bad habits and converted them into good habits. You have proven to be trustworthy in the presence of the Lord. Every day is going to be a fight. Every day is going to be a struggle. Every day is going to be a battle, man. But you need to go to God and ask him, what do I do, Lord? What do I, what can I do better to maneuver myself wisely around these spiritual, these demonic spiritual entities that are trying to take me off my pivot? What can I do better? How can I improve myself? How can I improve my faith? How can I How can I look to heal myself? You know, you need you need to have this type of conversation with God. These type of conversations where you're asking questions of improvements that can be made of having a stronger faith having a stronger prayer life on top of that because no matter what whether you're down or or you're up in life because you know in life you're always going to be down and up you know, it's like a loop. You know, some days, you know, I should say, but more like a roller coaster because, you know, there are days that are bad, there are days that are good. You know, but not every day is going to be an up day. Not every day is going to be a, a down day. Some days may be a coasting line. But you got to know how to adapt. To these ups and downs in life. You need to also know how to. Just coast along. And let things ride out. And be what they are. Embrace it for what it is. And move forward. Like. I can be stuck in depression. I can be stuck feeling anxious. You know. I, I can feel sorry for myself and whatnot, But I choose not to. You know. When I feel drained now. I realize I'm just going through this temporary pain and it soon shall pass me by I know it's not going to be like that forever because I only I'm only going to be going through this for a season and then on to the next season you know I'm just going to let it ride out okay I feel drained today I felt been feeling drained the last two days don't mean that tomorrow I'm going to be feeling drained. Tomorrow I can be a lot more vibrant. Tomorrow, you know, I can be in stronger faith. Right now, it's not like that, but once again, I'm not going to pretend that I'm okay because right now I'm not doing okay. I'm not feeling okay. But me talking to you guys right now is actually doing me a lot more good than bad. So I, I, I do want to make this video to let y'all know what's going on with me. You know, let y'all you know, let y'all know the real. Be transparent. I'm all about giving you guys transparent content on here. Cause I can't fake anything. I can't fake an emotion. I can't fake a feeling I can't fake a life I can only be my transparent self and live in my truth you know I've had days of laziness I've had days of you know binge you know binge watching on YouTube you know you know just eating horribly and stuff you know what I'm saying like I'm still working on my discipline I'm still trying to I'm still working on being a better man every day it's not easy it's not easy being a better man every day it's not easy 
walk in a righteous path. Because if it was easy, then everybody would walk a righteous path. Everybody would, would be following the path that God has for you, the plan that God has for you. That's why so many people are straight away from the Most High. And they're following the devil's wicked ways. They're going, they're going to the path of the worldly. Okay? They're walking a worldly path. A path of, of sheep. You know, that's being that's being led to the slaughterhouse. And then that's where they belong. Because that's where that that's the fate that they chose. They chose that path. So now they're going to reap what they sow. They're going to reap what they sow. All these devil worshippers, all these gang stalkers, all these, you know, persecutors and all the, all this, all these, you know, cold hearted SOBs in this society. They're all going to reap what they sow. All these unforgiving sinners. I'm telling you, they're all going to have their judgment day happen. And, and those fraudulent people in your life that pretended that they were all for you, that they were down for you, that they were supporting you, that they were there at your most worst times and good times. But when you start to rise up, you start to level up, you saw how quickly their energy towards you changed. You saw how quickly they became your enemy. They showed their true colors. And honestly, they should have just showed their true colors from the jump. Like, I'm telling you right now, like, if you want to be in my life, listen, you got to show me your true colors. I mean, you may not even you may not even be in my life. I may not allow you in access into my life, but I would rather have you show me your true colors and wear those colors proudly. Let me know who you are from the jump. So you ain't got to keep having me keep guessing and guessing and guessing and trying to wonder who you are, trying to try to figure you out. I'm not here to play those mental mind games with nobody. I'm a grown ass man, 26 years old. I ain't got no time for fake love in this day and age. I really, I really don't. I don't got no time for fake love. Been there, done that. Been drained my entire life. Been around a lot of energy vampires. I've been, I've been associated with a lot of energy vampires. I've been in situations where I've been drained mentally and physically and spiritually. Even emotionally. Okay? I've already done been in those situations. You know? Been through the fire already with that. Okay? Been dealing with fake ones my entire life. You know, I realize my family isn't all the way real. They've never been real. You know what I'm saying? The only one I consider really family at this point is my mother. That's really it. My mom is pretty much the only family that I got. And that's the only real one in my in my in my life right now. Everybody else, you know, I, I don't really hold them in higher regard. I just don't. You know, I don't got I don't got time for fake friendships. You know, I don't got time to be caught up with self-destructive people all day that just want to drain my energy, that want to lead me into a, a negative path. Not happening. Because I can see where you're going based off your energy that you are carrying. I can see where you're going based off your actions. You ain't got to tell me where you're going. I just can see based off your actions how you carry yourself. So I know you're not the one for me. We're not compatible. Because I know I'm headed this way and you're headed that way. You're heading, we're, we're heading completely opposite directions. We're just not going to go in the same direction. 
and not everybody can go with you to the promised land. Not everybody can go with you on this righteous path. Understand that. But embrace that truth. Because knowing I know that now, and I feel more liberated, knowing that not everybody can be on that path along with me, that this righteous path is designed for me to walk. So I'm going to walk this path that was designed for me. I'm going to live in the truth that I was designed to live in. I'm going to live the life that I was designed to live. Be the man that I was designed to be. You know, all that little kid stuff and following the crowd and following, you know, the herd. You know, that's just a sign of, of immaturity. That's a, a huge sign of directionless. That's a huge sign of not being rooted in the Father. Because if you're rooted in the Father, you're not going to be easily led into different directions. You're not going to be pulled in, in four different directions. You're only going to be pulled in God's direction. You understand? That is the only direction that you are going to follow. That you're going to be pulled into. So the enemy can try to pull you in, in, in his direction all he wants, right? But if you are rooted in the Father and God is your foundation and you're reading your Bible and you're in the Word, heavenly, you're not going to be led astray by just anybody, by nobody for that, for that, for that matter. Nobody can pull the wool over your eyes. Because when you have the spirit of discernment and your vision... Your vision has gotten stronger. You're able to see through or see past the cardinal. You're able to see past the physical. You're able to just see a person for who they really are. Look into their eyes. Look past the body and look into their spirit. Analyze it, study it. And see what's going on in there. It may be demonic. It may be God. It may be godly. They may have a demonic spirit, or they may have a godly spirit. But that's up for you. That's up to you to have that discern, discerning heart, and have those eyes to see. So. With that being said, man, the more times you grow, just know the more the more you level up, the more the enemy is going to try to bring you down, down another level. The more the enemy is going to attack. You know, like I said, I've been spiritually attacked. You know, these last couple weeks, you know, got my first ticket, you know, my first ticket this last week, got a parking ticket, you know, it's either I show up to court or I pay a, a fee, you know, a $55 fee, just something stupid and petty, you know, whatever, kind of brushed it off, you know, I never gotten a ticket before, you know, got into a little car accident, the other night wasn't it wasn't really that serious it was like a bump on my my rear end but um you know it's just little things like that man little subtle spiritual attacks that i'm paying more attention to you know that's been happening to me you know i go to work and i instantly feel you know like an outcast i instantly feel like I don't belong. You know, that's the way for both jobs. When I go to both jobs, that's how I feel. Like I feel like I'm just invisible. Like I'm a brick wall. Like I don't fit in. And you know what? I'm not supposed to fit in. You know, like I'm not surprised. You know, 
but the environment is not conducive to me, you know? And this is the challenge. This is a challenge of being a chosen one, of being a true soldier of God and walking the righteous path. It's being the outcast and being persecuted and being, you know, being, you know, excluded for the most part. And these are the things that you have to put up with, you know. So that being said, man. So that being said, man, um, you know, pray for me, y'all, because, you know, I'm, I'm going through a lot right now. I'm, I'm dealing with a whole lot right now. But just know when you are growing and you're progressing, you're leveling up, you're going to have people leave your life. You're going to have people turn on you. You're going to have people show their true colors towards you. You're going to be spiritually attacked in, in all ways, bro. So don't expect the process of leveling up as one of God's chosen people to be easy peasy. It's not. You're going to be persecuted in so many ways. You're going to be challenged and tested in so many ways. There's days you're going to be feeling drained. There are days where you just want to, you want to give up and you want to turn your back on God. And you just want to lose your faith and all that. Okay? You want to lose the progress that you made. You just want to, you know, surrender. Wave the, wave the flag. You're going to get to those days, man. But you got to keep on fighting. You got to keep on pushing it. You just got to keep on going. This world is not meant for you to succeed. This world is not does not care about you. That's why you got to seek, constantly seek the kingdom of heaven, God's kingdom, the promised land. Like low key, I don't care about this world. I have no love for this world because this world has no love for me. That's that's what I'm feeling right now. That that's how I'm coming. I have no love for this world. So this world will have no love for me. But I have all the love for God's kingdom. I have all the love for the promised land for heaven. And I believe one day I will inherit the land. I will. I will make it to the promised land. I believe that strongly. But I got to keep doing my, my due diligence. I got to keep being obedient to the Most High. And following his law, statutes, and commands. And keep walking this righteous path no matter what. No matter what trials are coming my way to steer me off this path. No matter what trial, no, no matter what demon. No matter what fraudulent person tries to come in my way and take me off my pivot. No matter what. I gotta keep staying firm. And keep walking this path. And y'all do the same as well. Whether it's family members that are holding you back, friendships that are holding you back, you know, you're, you're, you're probably working in a toxic uh, work environment. You know, you gotta put that past you. You gotta cut those people off. They can't come with you, they're not welcome aboard, they can't go where you're going. And that's and that's is what it is, man. It just is what it is. So like I say, like I said, stay obedient to the most high. Keep on fighting the good fight and don't give in. Because we got a lot, we got a lot of work to do in terms of our spiritual growth, of our spiritual, of our spiritual ele elevation. Have a lot of work that needs to be done. So with that being said, man. I want to thank y'all for watching this video. If y'all stay through the entire video, y'all real one. Make sure y'all like the video for the algorithm. Subscribe if you are new. More videos are to come. And I'm out, man. God bless.